Sorry, I didn't see you there. What's up guys, thank you again for watching. We are back and it's the final round of Beamer Challenge 2021. We're back at Bunton Willow, just like we were a couple weeks ago for GTA. We got the G80 today. We're gonna try and get a better time than we did last time. Uh, it's very cold outside, so we're gonna see if the tires are gonna have enough heat in them to get a personal best. But um, seems like the track is pretty clean, so looking forward to seeing if we can improve our time from a couple weeks ago after learning a few things from Global Time Attack. Eric with his M2 is in uh, B1 Unlimited class. Uh, he's been building the car up for the last couple months, so um, we're glad to see him out here. I mean, this is a big round for us because mathematically, I tried to do the math, and shout out to Andrew at Build Journal for creating that new uh, site where you can actually calculate all your points for the season. Uh, and everyone else's as well um, and do a comparison it's a very cool thing to see on svbeaverchallenge.com but uh, yeah I, I don't know what place we need to finish at in order to win the season but today you know as always we're trying to beat our best time so last time at GTA our, our time was at 153.6 so if we get anything below that we'll be happy maybe even a 52 with the with the things that we've learned since that last time so stay tuned session uh, that one was slower but in the previous one we got a 53.09 which is our new personal best right now that's holding up for first place so uh, we're really close to getting our 52 um, hopefully now with a cleaner track and a little bit of Sun coming out it's been overcast all day maybe there's some temperature in the track and uh, I can keep it and tie one lap together to get that 52 so we're on right now I'm gonna strap in and uh, see if we can do it. Stay that counts for Beamer Challenge. They only count the first three of every day, so yeah, nothing was faster than the first session of the day, first thing out, which is so weird because it's super cold. But uh, everyone ran their best time in the first session, so I guess track conditions or whatever it may be led to the other sessions being slower. So we're this, we're this close to getting to the 52.09. Uh, so we did a 153.09 and you know that's good enough for first today i believe but uh well they're gonna do some math because for beamer challenge for the season they count only the fastest 10 or your best 10 points results uh throughout the year towards the season standing so um doing a lot of math and stuff but uh once they figure that out we're gonna have the award ceremony and then see how that goes but a little let down that we didn't get into the 52s I was joking around with Leo behind the camera earlier that in order to do it, we just need new tires for every session, so. <laughs> uh. 
Thank you everyone for attending. Thank you for the season. It went down the wire, so it took us longer. We had to do the calculation to find out who won, who finished second. And B3, damn, that was the tightest. Like it's been all like this all season. Uh, the difference between first and sorry, between the first to third place is like four tenths of a second. Between second and third, 0 0.01. Third place was time of 153.55. Bailey Woods. In second place with a time of 153.48. Alex Bernstein. Alex? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What is it? Petition the board? <laughs> and first place with a time of 153.09. Toby? Yeah. Okay. And before we go down, just like a uh, quick heads up. So we did a full like roster or lap time and driver results for session and then for the overall championship group, like results all throughout the year. So we made it so you can track it easier to track hopefully as you go. So check out the website SV Fever Challenge, especially next year too. We're gonna to do the same thing. And before we finish, just to let you know, the winners of each group will get free spots from Apex Wheels and they get free endless pads. They already run the endless pads before. They get a free set, like front or rear pretty much. And the overall with all the uh, like uh, overall leader in points, like in the whole game, we get a free set of Apex uh, Force wheels from Apex, of course. Yeah, so as usual, like every year, they do the same. Yeah, so for the endless pads, if you're overall winner, just let me know. If you don't know who I am, John Lee, uh, or do you guys have his contact or any of the contacts? Just let them know and they'll, they'll let me know. Yeah, make sure don't wait the last second because they're running behind, so it takes now like four to six weeks, I think. Yeah, and actually, I have to order them before the year end, so I need to okay. know right away. Okay. All right, so championship results. We're going to do top three. So the rest of the results are actually on the site right now. Uh, but we're going to do top three right now. So B5. Coming in third place is Chad Mascara. Here? I don't think he's here. B5, second place, Gianni Ferrara. Yeah. Gianni. And you had a four point difference with Julian today. <laughs> All right, B4, third place, Arden Rakov. Second place, David Ditt. David! And B4 coming in first place, John Lee. Yeah! yeah. Oh, my God! John! Wow, so John. close to the awards. John! Whatever that red ball is. Rings, rings, come over here, please. Read it, what does it say? Oh, it's B4 <laughs> World Champion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, B3. This was a close one. Um, top 10 results. Third place, Nick Suey. Yeah. Nick. All right. <laughs> Good job, Nick. That's Alex, you were four <laughs> points away from. I know. Well, imagine if I didn't hit a wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This was the margin for second and first is one point. Wow. Absolutely. Second place winner. <laughs> for the 2021 V3 Championship, Robert Robles. Super <laughs> <laughs> place, 2021 V3, Bailey Woods. <laughs> there it is. And Gabe, Blue's Clues. Yeah, so as predicted, because we didn't count our session or we didn't count our round at Auto Club Speedway because that was the day that 
one of the one of our competitors crashed so we thought he was going to be able to rebuild the car right away so he said you know what let's keep it close and not count that round but um yeah we were not going to count it and we uh we took second first place was one point away so uh shout out bailey good job dude you guys he caught up um earned it for sure driving an e36 m3 you know compared to our newer cars with a lot more power so yeah we're gonna keep trying to improve our times and uh you know maybe go more all, all out with our cars because this year we wanted to show you guys how fast the car could be with just springs and minimal mods that don't cost that much and that still keep the car comfortable on the street driving it around every day uh the super we're gonna make it more serious and go maybe you know three-way coilovers and full aero um and yeah make it a full race car or 90 percent race car but yeah thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one all right guys we promised you we'd make a big announcement at the end of this video but before we get to that we want to say thank you to you guys for watching this whole year um all of our sponsors csf spl parts titan 7 vf engineering uh mikey body uh, our compound, Chew Works for the Alignments, um, SDC, SoCal Drivers Club for uh, letting us come out there and practice all day. And then obviously Speed Ventures uh, for hosting both of the series, Beamer Challenge and TRD series. So much happened this year. We're super thankful for everything and how much we've learned from both of the cars, especially the G80 M3 and um, both of these Supras, um, our Shop Supra and Sergio Supra, which we had to use for the later half of the year. Uh, due to the technical difficulties we had with our Supra and its fueling. Um, if you guys missed that, check out the episode from Laguna Seca. You can see where we're having fuel cut. And uh, basically that fuel cut led to uh, internal damages to our engine. Anyway, besides that, we're super happy with how we did for the seasons for both Beamer Challenge and TRD series. We're looking forward to next year. Um, in reply to everyone's uh, feedback from our videos, we're gonna be doing more of an in-depth, behind the scenes, detailed videos, uh, documentaries of what we do to our builds, uh, mainly focusing again on our Shop Supra, but also Jason's GT3 RS. So that series is gonna be called Road to Coda, and uh, you guys should follow along. We'll be showing you each and every step that we have to take, all the planning, all the processes, and all the teamwork that happens to put together one single fast lap. So hopefully we do well at Global Time Attack, uh, Super Lap Battle, Circuit of the Americas, uh, two months away. So we hope you guys stay tuned for that. And again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.